Hello guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can extract brown hair against white background. All right, let's start. Okay guys, I'm gonna work on this image. I have a few problems in this image. If you see the hair is a little blurry on this area and I have a lot of flyways that you can see here and maybe it's going to be a little difficult to remove this background, okay? By the way, I have other video that is how you can replace background different occasion and also I talk about hair, but this is going to be a little more advanced than that one, okay? But take a look, watch that video before this one if you want to learn the basic of that. All right, um, there are many different ways to extract the background, to remove the background, extract the hair, okay? One way that is the basic way, okay, that I, I am not going to use this way in this tutorial because I would like to show you something more advanced. But just to show you a little bit what is the other way, you can select the quick selection tool or the object selection tool. And what you can do, you can select here, select subject, and then after you select the subject, you can hit here, select a mask. And in Photoshop, you have, for example, hit the radius that I can increase. I'm gonna put against another background to show you the result. I'm gonna increase the opacity. And this is going to be pretty much the result. But I have to start playing around with different tools, trying to improve this area. Okay, I have to do stuff like this. But you know, the final result is not that good. Then I can click OK. I'm gonna create a mask. Okay, and then if I put another background, it's not that good the result. Okay, I'm gonna show you another way to do it. But look at this. That other way, okay, one other thing that we have to do, we have to create a better mask. Let me increase the size of this. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna select large thumbnail. And I am going to hold on the option key and I'm gonna click here on the mask. And you see, this is what we are looking for, but a better one. We need black background and white inside. That is the idea, okay? How we can create a better mask. I'm gonna throw it away, this one, because I don't like it. And I'm gonna show you how we can create a better one. The idea is this. We are going to use the channels, okay? Let me show you the idea. First, I'm gonna hide this library panel that I don't need. I'm gonna double click here in color that I don't need these properties as well. I'm gonna concentrate just on the layers and also on the channels. And here I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna select large. Okay, I like my workspace to start working on this. Look at this. My plan is to select one channel, the channel that I have more contrast between the hair and the background and use that channel as a mask, okay? And take a look to all the channels that I have here, for example the red channel, the green channel, and the blue channel, okay? What I have to do, I have to try to select the channel with more contrast, okay? But you have to take a look to the hair, not to the face. Just go zoom in and take a look all these flyways. If I go to the red, okay, I have a decent contrast, okay? To the green, I have another contrast, and to the blue. I believe I have more on the blue, Maybe I have more detail on the green, but I can see on the blue, I have more contrast, okay? In that case, I am going to select the blue channel. Look at the steps, okay? I'm gonna go back and look at the step. The first step, okay, you have the image, go to the channels and select the channel that you think you have more contrast. Second step, drag the blue channel over the plus icon to duplicate the channel. And if you see blue copy is highlighted and you have this eyeball just on this channel, okay? That is the first idea. Then you have to invert the channel, okay? If you go to the image and then adjustment and here you can select invert. Okay, and now if you see, it's very dark here outside, okay? And it's light inside. But we have to paint everything white inside. That is the idea. First, I would like to select her with a quick selection tool. For example, I am going to select just this area of the body. Okay, I'm gonna select everything here. And also I am going to select the face. Okay, but I am not planning to select the hair. I'm gonna increase this a little bit. I'm gonna use the minus. Okay, I don't need the hair yet. Okay, and then we will go to the hair. Okay, just select the face. You can select the ear if you want, but do not select the hair, 
okay don't touch the hair that is very important guys okay when you start playing around with this i am going to select with the plus now i'm gonna select the ear okay i'm pretty much everything is okay i'm gonna deselect that little area and here i'm gonna go to the select a mask i'm going to increase the opacity here to see a very good contrast if you don't see red here what you have to do click on this icon on this thumbnail and select overlay okay and from here you can select the color red or another color and then i have to zoom i'm going to zoom a little bit you can click and drag because i would like to see better selection okay what i can do i can use this brush tool okay with a minus and then i can start removing all these lines in order to create a better selection all right and then um, i'm going to increase the radius here because that will detect a better shape around the body and also for the body it's not bad that you add smooth okay because smooth you will have smoother borders in addition sometimes if the smooth is a little blurry Okay, if I start zooming like this, if you see it's a little blurry, consider to apply a little of contrast and then the smooth is going to be much better. Of course, I can continue and then I'm gonna select the third um, brush with a plus. Okay, I can repair a few tiny areas. If you see now it's much better the selection. Then just click okay. And now we have a better selection. Now what I can do, I can start painting. With a brush, okay, double check the brush is white. But guys, this is something very important. Uh, sometimes I saw a student that they click here and they select white, okay, but it's not all the way to the top, all the way to the top. You have to see here, everything is zero, 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 because if you select white around here, that is not complete white. Another method to be sure you're selecting white, you can just click on this little icon to reset the black and white. And the shortcut is the key D as in Daniel in your keyboard. Now I can start painting like this. I'm gonna paint all this area. Of course, I am going to increase the size of my brush to paint all this area white. All right, there are shortcuts also I can use, but I prefer to paint with a brush because I would like to be careful to do not go to the edges on the hair. Okay, I'm gonna start painting here. I'm gonna increase a little the brush. By the way, I use shortcuts to increase the brush and there are many different ways to do it. Okay, one way you can go here and you can move this slider to increase or decrease the brush. Also, one of the things that I like to do, I like to use the brackets key on my keyboard, okay? If you use the left bracket, you can reduce the size. If you use the right bracket, you can increase the size of the brush, okay? And also you can right click and you can do that also. There are other ones, but let's continue. Okay, I'm gonna paint everything like this. I'm gonna paint the ear, okay, pretty much everything. All right, next, what I'm going to do, I am going to invert the selection because maybe I can paint in a few areas. I'm gonna go to the select inverse. I'm gonna invert the colors to black, okay? And if I zoom a little bit, I have to see that maybe a, a few areas that I want to paint black or there is maybe a few areas that you want to remove the hair. For example, if there are a few hairs that you don't need. Okay, you can see, but I would like to preserve everything because I would like to show you what is, how gonna look like the final result, okay? I'm not planning to remove any hair because I would like to preserve anything, okay? Now, deselect, go to the select menu, deselect. Okay, then I'm gonna zoom in. And here, I'm gonna start painting white on this area. Invert the colors increase a little the brush and now it's very important that do not go close to the edges okay you have to be sure you are not too close okay you have to keep all this area from here up to here you have to keep that because we're going to create a kind of a gradient on this area on the ears i'm going to select a, a smaller brush okay a little hard okay what's going to happen if you paint it's going to paint like this because then I can start painting here the ear, okay? And all that part that I want to remove like this. I'm using a Wacom tablet that is way much better, okay? It's easier to, to follow that line like this. Okay, I can see the idea. And then I can continue painting like this. All right, then at the end, I'm gonna take a look how this looks like. I would like to see the final result and then maybe I can go 
more near to the edges. On this part, the ear is around there. Of course, also you can just click here and then you can go back and forth to see where is the that ear. Okay. All right, I'm gonna continue. I'm perfect. I would like to preserve all this detail. Okay, this is gonna take a while. All right, and then on this area, what I have to do, I have to increase the size of the brush. Okay, something kind of big, something like this side. Can you see the same side like that? But super soft brush, okay, and the harness down. And the idea is to paint like this, but I recommend you to reduce the flow, maybe around 20% or something like that. Okay, because then you can put one time, second time, three time, and if you see a fourth time, then it's like 100%, can you see? And then I'm gonna start painting, okay, everything around, and then you will have a gradient. You have to keep a little of gray on that area, otherwise the result is not that good. Okay, by start painting, do not paint too close to the edges, Okay, but the idea is to create a kind of a gradient, okay, with the background, all right? Okay, this is my final result. Okay, I'm gonna stop here because I would like to see how this is gonna look like as a mask. All right, the next step after you paint white inside, remember, it's white inside and black outside, okay? After you do that, what you have to do, okay, I have to convert this mask on a selection. If you see the mask is there, you have to click on this little icon, and now you can see the marching ants all the way around. And then I am going back to RGB, click on the word RGB itself, okay? Click there, okay? Now this is not selected. And now let's go back to the layers. Now we have a very good selection, and now create a new layer mask, okay, from this icon. Click on it and now you have the layer mask. Now, let's create a new layer, okay, and move down beneath this layer. I'm going here to the color panel, and let's say I would like to select something uh, kind of light blue, all right, and then I would like to paint this layer. There is a shortcut. If you have the color here on the foreground, you can hold on the Option on the Mac or Alt on PC, and just press the key Delete. And now what I'm going to do, I am going to create a new top layer. Create a new top layer. All right, and this is a trick because I would like to paint the flyways that I have here, okay, every single hair. How you can do that? First, I need to create a clipping. How you can do that? Just right click and then select create clipping mask. Okay, what's gonna happen with that? Let me show you. For example, I'm gonna select the brush tool and I'm gonna select another color just to show you what's gonna happen. If I start painting here, okay, if I go outside, you can see it's just painting the hair, okay? It's not painting the place that you have transparency. That is the idea of the clipping. If I remove the clipping, release the clipping, just painting like normal like that. It's pretty good because if you create a clipping mask, okay, what's gonna happen, this is going to clip the top layer. Okay, I'm gonna go back with the Command Z a few times. All right, before you start painting, I'm gonna select the correct color, but put the flow here in 100. And then from here, you can click there to select a color. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna select the same color that I have on the hair. You can just click on any part of the hair and select a color that is not that dark, maybe a brown, not too saturated, and around around there, something like that, okay? Here you can see the new color. And just click okay. Then this layer, if you start painting, look at what happened. You can see, you can start recovering all the, um, all the hairs and the pixels, okay? And then what you can do, you can select this one as a multiply. Depending on the background, it's depending on the result, but I'm going to do, I'm going to just start painting all the way around you can see the hair, all this part like this, and you can see the result is pretty good. You can see I'm gonna paint everything outside like this. In this part, I have to take more care because I have the ear there. I don't plan to paint over the ear. I have to just paint outside. All right, and then if you see the result is not bad at all. I'm gonna continue painting on this area. 
The only thing that you have to be careful to do not paint over the body because if I do this, you can see that's gonna happen. I'm gonna command Z. Uh, you can quick select also if you're using, for example, the mouse is more difficult. I'm using my tablet with my pen, okay? And then it's not that difficult to do this and to follow all the lines like that, okay? You can see that is the techniques, that is what you can do. Then in other videos, I'm gonna show you other examples, but that is the idea that you can remove the background. There are many other ways that we can extract and many different adjustments and tools that we can use, but always is depending on the hair and the background. That is the idea. I am going to show you in other videos, other techniques with different hair, for example, blonde hair against white background or dark hair against that background. But this is the idea of this first video, how you can extract hair on a more advanced way. All right, guys, I hope you liked this video. See you on the next one. Bye.